What's going on everybody? Philip here. I got another tripod video for you guys. I recently upgraded my tripods and just kind of want to go ahead and get the video out there. Kind of my first impressions. They've both been in the field uh, on a few hunts, so um, they've gotten a little bloody already. But uh, kind of my first impressions, what I like, what I dislike. Now these tripods are a little bit on the higher end side. Um, something I'm not used to running. I used to move to you know, a 400 $200 tripod these get a little bit higher than that, but um, After shooting off of them. I really figured out why you pay the much the, so much money off of them um, Now all tripods, you know, they you know, they all have their purpose But uh, these are, are all on the higher end and the one I have is the fat boy and the two vets recon now uh, They're still they're close to the same price range. I believe they're only you know within a hundred dollars. I believe so uh, this should be a good comparison if you want to upgrade your tripod and you know just kind of see what's out there uh, I believe Fat Boy is a brand new company they haven't been out very long at all and the two vets I want to say has been in production I think their first tripod maybe came out two years ago so you know they got a little bit of a footprint in the market but um, we'll see uh, let's get to it all right guys uh, Let's first go over the two vets, the recon. This uh, tripod right here, um, I've took it out once. Uh, I've got, got a few shots off with it. Not as much as the Fat Boy, but still, um, I was able to run it and still not a bad tripod for the money. So the cost on this guy, you're gonna get around 600 to $620. Um, it's, so like I said, it is a higher end tripod. Um, some details over it. It has two leg uh, locking uh, legs, whatever you want to call these. So uh, it's got two leg locking mechanisms, which is better than most. Some are only th some are three. Uh, what happens when you have three is you know that's another failure you can have. Um, the tube diameter is 39 millimeters. Um, the length, how tall it goes, is 65.5 inches. So this is all the way out. Um, I'm 6'1", so if you're 6'8", I'm pretty sure you can shoot off this thing very comfortably. So, um, I know some tripods, they don't get that high, and it can be a real pain to bend over and shoot. You're not that comfortable, you're not going to be able to get that steady shot out off with it. Um, now, that is just the tripod. I'm not talking about the ball head. This does not come with a ball head. This is just the tripod itself, okay? Um, the end part, these are just, you can put rubber spikes on these if you, I mean, metal spikes if you want to I don't I just use these rubber ends right here that it come with um, it can hold up to 60 pounds uh, is what is the rating on it they would do hold more than that I'm one 170 and you know it can hold me uh, so not bad there uh, so it, I'm 170 pounds it held me fine so as long as you're not shooting you know I guess like 250 calories on top of each other, you'll be fine there. But uh, other than that, uh, those are just the details. I'm going to get with the fat boy real quick, show you the details on that guy, and then go over the pros and cons. Okay, so first of all, here's the fat boy. Um, price on this guy is going to be $750. They did have them on discount for $650, so they might drop the price a little bit. Uh, but, you know, this is a new company, so a little bit more than that two vets, $150. Bucks. Uh, You'll be the decision if you want to spend the extra money and get this tripod over that one. Um, so same basic setup. Uh, it's got a two-leg locking system. Um, so it is metal underneath, and then it's got these really big rubber uh, grips on there. So like I said, that other one, you're not, they're not going to cling around and sound as bad. Now on the bottom, there is metal. That's what you're hearing right now. It's on, I got some metal studs on the very bottom. Uh, now, the tube on this one is a little bit bigger. It's 42 millimeters. That one, the two vets was 39 millimeters. Um, it can actually go to 66 inches. So taller, a little bit taller than the uh, Fat Boy. And you know, like just like any tripod, you just loosen those leg locks up and boom. It's a little bit taller. Um, both of these tripods do have bu uh, bubble level. So, you know, if you're a you know, you had time to take your shot and you want to get this thing perfectly level or you want to do that before you go out 
Uh, both of these have this bubble level on top. Um, that's about it. This one will hold up to uh, 100 pounds is the rating, so you get 40 pounds more. Um, all that is, guys, is uh, you know, heavier go better, and I believe this tripod is going to last longer for you. You know, more weight you put on it, more stable it's going to be. Um, you know, the tripod is one part of the stability, the ball head's another. So uh, this one, like this one, can hold me. I didn't have that one locked all the way. Oh, there it is. All right, see, so it can hold me. I'm just fine. You know, uh, there ain't no problem there. I actually have some videos on Instagram me pole dancing on this guy. But uh, I, I've done a quite a bit of hunting with this guy already, and I absolutely love it. Um, so let's go through the pros and cons real quick of both these trout. All right, guys, now let's get into the pros and cons. All right, uh, the pros, this tripod versus the, this, the Fat Boy is, the Fat Boy is gonna cost you $150 more. Um, hopefully at the end of the video, I'll show you why this one probably costs $150 more. Uh, this is still not a bad tripod. I'm gonna go ahead and put that out there. This is not a bad tripod, but I'm gonna be real with you. There is some flaws behind this tripod, and I feel like actually, if you don't wanna go past, you know, $600, there's actually maybe some, you know, $400 tripods out there that are a little bit better than this one. But, you know, it's still a good company. It's just still a good uh, tripod. So if you want to go with this one versus that one, it's still going to get the job done, guys. It, it's, they both will kill. The Primo's trigger sticks, the bog pod, they will still kill. I promise you that. Um, just probably maybe not as accurate or not as um, stable as, you know, the Fat Boy or the Vortex. Uh, those higher end, but it's still not a bad tripod guys. So I'm not hating on this tripod There's just some flaws behind it. I feel like they can fix and still sell this tripod for six hundred dollars uh, one of them is this This right here. I throw this thing in the back of the truck all the time pick it up go mount my rifle to it and Carry it just like this have one free hand with a scanner looking all close I can get the pigs coyotes everything like that um, that could be a problem at night trying to figure out how the how that works but it's not the end of the world but they do cross there's not many tripods almost every tripod I ever owned crossed and you wouldn't think it's a big deal until you own one that didn't so also you're hearing that thing <laughs> so um, everything's tight all right everything's so another thing is, you hear that? That's loud. If you're trying to be at night, you're trying to be stealthy, this thing can be pretty loud and uh, could bump some animals. I wish they would have put some, see if you can tell, this is straight up metal. Um, it's the first tripod I've had with this. So it's metal on the outside and this, they cling together down at the bottom, you know, it, it could bust your animals. I wish they would have put a rubber coating on that, but it's not in the world, okay? Um, other than that, everything's, you know, almost the exact same. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to this fat boy. Now, the fat boy, the pros and cons about this guy. Uh, first thing, I'm gonna go ahead and say the con, and be really the only con I have with this tripod is uh, the price. You know, you're gonna, this right now, I'm gonna, on their website is 750 bucks. I believe when I got it, it was 675. So, you know, maybe since it is a new company, maybe they'll come down a little bit on the price after they get more of a demand. But as of right now, you know, this is gonna be $150 more than the recon. Um, I'll leave it up to you after this to decide if uh, the extra $150 is actually worth it. So, you know, first thing, you know, I haven't had a tripod that didn't do this. No crossing. So uh, they're not going to cross. Put this thing on there, hold it. You know it's it's solid. There's no crossing there. Also, these leg locks, the rubber. They got a really good grip on them, as you can see. Um, you can really get these things tight. And uh, that was also a thing I didn't go over on the recon, uh, and I finally figured out why. But you know when we when we hunt, we we throw these things back to the truck, and you know pigs get. Uh, on top of them and try and pull the tripod out, they get loose. You know, the pig gets underneath there and might get a little loose on you. 
uh, and you want to go throw your rifle on here, they might you know collapse on you or something uh, because it's loose, and that's because um, you know you don't get it enough tight, or over time you just haven't made sure they were tight. But the good thing about this Fat Boy is the threads are way there's way more threads on this Fat Boy than the Recon. Um, it's probably double the amount of threads. Uh, so uh, I have had problems. Uh, there was one night, like probably two times it happened. Uh, not the end of the world, but you know, it can be a headache, especially if you know, get on a group real quick and that tripod collapse and then the pig gets out of the group gets away. Uh, so, you know, just make sure they're tight. But you know, the, the fat boy didn't do as much. Uh, the other thing is, if you want spikes, all you gotta do is tighten this down. Boom, you got a spike there. If not, you know, let it out all the way. It locks right there, not wiggling on you. And boom, you don't have a, a spike anymore. Uh, so get them all out. My wife probably killed me if I had spikes on the floor. Now, uh, the other thing, like the recon, see these are rubber, so you know, they're not clinging around like uh, that metal on metal contact. So uh, you're a little bit quieter with that. And I do believe that this tripod is a little bit more sturdier than the recon just a little bit i think the you know your ball head is more uh is you know everything uh versus a tripod uh you do have to have to have a good tripod but you know the ball head is more about um how sturdy and stable and accurate you are with the tripod now i do run the same i'll take the exact same ball head and put it on that recon uh, but i do believe after trying to shoot off of a this fat boy, I feel like I was a little bit more comfortable shooting off this than that. Um, this top part is thicker uh, than the, the tripod. It's thicker uh, and like, just because, you know, you do have a thicker tube here and uh, the top is thicker. So, you know, maybe over time, I'm not, I'm not saying this recon is going to get wore out, but it, you know, that's where your extra weight is. It's from the tube being bigger and, uh, your top and your legs being wider. So, um, other than that, uh, I do like this foam piece. I like this foam piece fo holding it at night. The recon doesn't have that. I imagine you can add it if you want to. They both uh, adjust. If you know, if you want to get down, they both have the same adjustment. Click this out. You know, you can get this way out there if you want to. Uh, lower to the ground, more stable you're going to be. But uh, you know, it's kind of hard to get on the ground. You're going to want to be off the ground a little bit. So. Uh, both these tripods, I believe, you can go out and shoot 700 yards with them. Uh, you know, with the right weapon, with the right shooter, you can go out there and shoot 750 yards with them if you want to. Uh, but, like I said, uh, the cost really is the only thing the Fat Boy I'm not a big fan of. Uh, but I do believe it's worth it. After you, you know, after I went from you know the you know the trigger sticks to the ball quad to you know the the Predator tripod I had. Um, I can see why people get these tripods. Uh, you know, it is all up to the shooter, but at the same time, having great equipment uh, does help. And this Fat Boy is really great. Uh, but like I said, you know, if you don't want to spend the money and the recon's in your budget, get the recon. You know, the recon's really not that bad of a tripod. Um, it is pricey. Still, you know, 600 bucks. And I believe you could probably still go get another tripod around the $400 range. Is, it's almost the same caliber as this, uh, but it's up to you, uh, really. But uh, let's go shooting. All right, guys. Well, uh, in the previous videos, I've always showed y'all shooting out to six, seven hundred yards. But uh, you know, if four hundred tripod can do that, I promise you this. You know, seven hundred dollar tripod can do this. Uh, but the real reason why I got this tripod was for one thing only. Let me go ahead and show you. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to stay on target way better with this thing. Oh yeah, get ready for more footage for this. Uh, fat boy, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over real quick and uh, do the two vets, but I'm able to stay on target and I'll be able to get five, six hits on a pig instead of just one or two with this. So. I'm ready. Uh, it's y'all's decision on what tripod y'all think is going to be the best for you. So uh, I'll leave a description down below. And that's it. Y'all have a good one.